Hello guys, today in this video we'll discuss about weak linear motion for kinematics of a particle. This example will illustrate the mechanism how the metroid of a particle just passes through different journey. So we'll calculate every intended equations regarding to and this one so package center the 10 feet chewed at a with a speed of 4 feet per second and then have a 0.3 g acceleration from a to b if the package comes to rest at c calculate the constant acceleration a of the package from position b to position c and then also find the time required for the package to go from a to c so two questions are required here our first step will be just we'll take out the given parameters. Now let's write that one. So the first given parameter is just let's divide this one into two passes. That means from point A to point B and then from point B to point C. Now for pass A to B, let's write the given parameter the acceleration is acceleration from a to point b is equals to 0 0.3 times gravity which is equals to 0 0.3 times 32.2 so it will become 9.66 feet per second square and then displacement from point a to b is also given as 10 feet and the initial velocity of the particle is equal to velocity at the entrance of a which is equal to 4 feet per second now for pass b up to C the given displacement is from point B to point C is given as 12 feet and then the final velocity at point C is 0 and then the required parameters are required parameters are the acceleration from position B to position C by the which is constant and then time total time taken from position A to position C. So those are the required parameters. Now let's have a solution for them. Now for the first journey, that means for the particle, the status from position A to B. In this direction let's have this is the initial and this is the final position for this pass so we'll have 10 feet here now the acceleration is constant we know this principle since the acceleration is constant for uh, pass a up to pass b and then also pass b up to pass c normally so for a constant acceleration for a constant acceleration we'll have the following formula so we can simply insert this formula the first formula is final velocity is equals to initial velocity plus acceleration times t and the second equation is final velocity square is equals to initial velocity square plus 2 times acceleration times displacement and then the third equation is displacement is equals to initial position plus initial velocity times t plus half a t square now by applying these equations we can solve the required parameter now for equation for the questions of 
and velocity we can apply equation to because it can, it can relate initial velocity the acceleration and the displacement so velocity at point b is equals to velocity at point b is equals to we can apply equation 2 which is velocity at point b square is equals to initial velocity which means velocity of a square plus 2 acceleration from a up to b times displacement from a up to b so this is equals to 4 square by substituting a numerical value 2 times 9.66 times 10 so finally we have this one as is equals to 209.2 that means velocity of b is equals to under radical 209.2 so which is equals to 14.46 feet per second now to calculate the time we can apply equation 1 so velocity of b is equals to velocity of a plus acceleration a b times time from a up to b this means final velocity plus initial velocity plus acceleration times t by rearranging this equation we can rewrite that t is equals to velocity of b minus velocity of a over acceleration a b now put the numerical values here so time can be 14.46 minus 4 over 9.66 that means time from a up to b is equals to 1.08 second this one now for pass b to c let's do this one the initial part for this case will be point b and the final case will be point c initial and final we have 12 feet distance here so the same thing we can apply equation 2 by applying equation 2 the final velocity is this one so final velocity vc square is equals to initial velocity is bb square plus 2 accelerations of bc times distance from b up to c this is 0 now 0 is equals to 14.46 square plus 2 a b c times 12 just we substitute a numerical value here the only unknown parameter is acceleration so b c so 0 is equals to 209.2 plus t for acceleration so b c so acceleration so b c can be equals to this one with a negative sign so minus 209.2 if you write if you if you will rearrange it into the left side over t24 so acceleration from b up to c becomes this is um, the negative okay so this one will be negative uh, eight point 72 feet per second square this is a negative acceleration as expected because it's a retardation motion that means it will try to stop the chute so it's a negative acceleration or it is the acceleration is into the left direction once we calculate this we can also apply equation in one to calculate the time required from b up to c let's apply this equation so final velocity is equals to initial velocity which is vb plus acceleration from b up to c times time from b up to c 
this means we rearrange the time time from position v up to c will become this one will be negative of this one and this is a zero so it will be negative vb over acceleration of vc so it will become negative 14.06 over negative 8.72 so negative will cancel out this one so time from p up to c is equals to now 1.66 second now what will be the total time the total times of the given system will be just t is equals to t from a up to b plus t from b to c which is equals to 1.08 plus 1.66 so the, the total time taken to travel from point a up to point c will be the summations of the two and then it will become 2.74 second this is our final answer thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our channel we'll deliver you different interesting videos